okay miui light edition is here for the redmi note 8 users miui light edition which means some framework cut off some bloatware cut off which means a lighter version of the heavy miui skin custom roam yes this is miui 12.5 based it has the enhanced version it has the china version all of these light versions are already available i'll try to provide the link as much as i can but you can try it out if you want to which are the things you get here in this miui light edition we're going to talk about this so let's get started Okay, basically this is a light version of the heavy MIUI. So yes, the app opening, app closing speed. What you can see on the screen right now, it is super duper fast. I'm not sure if it will really stay for some time, but for right now, what I'm seeing is app opening, app closing is super fast. And yes, it's Xiaomi EU build, but the lighter version, lighter version, which means less bloatware. Maybe a good performance things. Yes, performance is actually quite good. A lot of things have been improved. In my opinion, what I saw till now, this is just one of the best ones. Right now, the version I'm using here is the MIUI 12.5.1 Xiaomi EU Lite version, which is not enhanced version, which is not a China version. So as you can see, the app vault is the latest or not actually the old one. So no widget store and no new options, no new features available, unfortunately. But I'll try to provide you the enhanced version link. That slight version is also there. You can try out that, which has the new interesting features, which I made a video on already. In the terms of control center related things, it's MIUI 12.5.1 China stable based. So yes, all the new features, for example, swipe between notifications and control center is already there. We have this smart option, smart home option is already present, which you can remove if you want to. Things are pretty much good enough. As you can see, swipe between control center and notification shade is present. This is the feature which I'm using and I'm recommending you this. By the way, you can try out the enhanced version also. This could be, that could be the good one too. In the terms of DRM info, if, is if you want to install this Xiaomi EU MIUI Lite version, then what I saw is the L1 was not there for me. I'm not sure though why, but this was not present. Maybe in your device you might get this, but right now what I saw, the L1 was not there. This is actually quite good. The camera related does not have any kind of major changes. Camera is working perfectly fine. Even I tried camera for the first time after installing this custom room right now because I don't use camera much. And in the terms of performance, you already saw in the terms of camera related things, this might be this might not be a big deal because the UI is seems to be same. Let me note it does not get any kind of extra features or new features in the camera, not officially, not neither unofficially. But no features are coming to Redmi Note 8 camera. But yes, 48 megapixel panorama, short motion, short video, and etc. etc. Features are already present. Let's just talk about the safety net status because it matters a lot and it plays an important role in all the custom rooms. Right now, I'm using Gingo, which is Redmi Note 8. So, yes, safety status does not have any kind of issues. Let me show you the result which we are getting right now. The safety status is passing and for a kind of information, I haven't rooted my device yet. So yes, if safety status is passing out of the box, it's absolutely great because a lot of users always use custom rooms without rooting that. So if you're also one of those who wants to install this MIUI based light version but don't want to root your device and want to use banking apps, then yes, you are at right place. You can give it a try if you want to. Now let's just talk about some extra stuff here. For example, the features or options which you get in settings, screen time, special features, etc. Everything else is same. In the terms of options in wallpaper and personalization, you can see same options, additional and etc. Performance, everything is same. Wallpapers and personalization section, of course, here you can customize the font. You even get the super wallpapers already included if you want to apply these super wallpapers. Some users always use super wallpapers, but honestly, I am not one of them. I always don't use, I never ever use super wallpapers at all because Redmi Note 8 is not so optimized for the super wallpaper. So it's better to ignore these. But if you still want to use, the option is present here for you. Always on display is not there, by the way. And that is also kind of useless. In the terms of other options, notifications and controls, and you can customize the controls and the style. You can customize the status bar icons as expectedly. Default launcher does not have any kind of major changes. Everything else is same. System navigation, you can customize home screen with app drawer or without app drawer. Everything is up to you. 
the privacy protection is also the new one but it does not include the incognito mode option for example if you want to check it out the incognito mode is one of my favorite features and it's unfortunately not there but you can try out in enhanced version and you can try out other versions link is in the description for all the versions whichever you want to install you can this is all from today's video thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video see you in the next video goodbye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air